Welcome to the Peak Stitches Shaders. In the second episode, I'll be making this simplifier. I'll be using only Visual Shader Editor. So, let's start with some theory. How this fire is made. It's made from those simple planes that gets color and are uh, moved so it gets this fire looking effect with very few simple steps. So let's start and make a new one. Here's our scene. And before I start, I need few um, exactly three files. Those three files are fire gradient. This is our gradient for the color. It starts from the white, bottom of the flame, then yellow, red, and here it ends at a brownish color. So the top of the flame will be a little bit darker, but it's get zero alpha to the end. Second thing is a noise, simple noise. I think we can, uh, 64 by 64 is okay. And lastly, a gradient for a movement. Bottom of the flame will have will be still, and then uh, middle of the flame will move very fast, and will make a big movement. And then the top of the flame will have like 30 percent percent of the movement. It will be slower. Okay. Now, let's make a plane, a uh, new plane, make it 2 by 1, maybe 3 by 1, and let's make added material for it. Uh, so we'll create a new shader, visual shader, the important thing is that the cool needs to be disabled, so the plane will have two sides. And I also change to the world vertex curves. Uh, but the cool needs to be disabled. And now we can open the editor. And we have this plane. It's here. Let's move it to the top. Okay. Needs to be rotated. Okay. Now we have our flame. So this one flame. Let's make add already another one. And I will only rotate it like maybe like that. Okay. So we have the basic shapes. Now the fun part. Material. And open. Okay. Let's make the actual shader. First I will color and animate this, this color for the flame and then I will move the vertexes. So let's start from the basics. We need UV coordinates and the texture, the, those colors. Using UV, use them and we are with the, <laughs> in a wrong shader, fragment shader. Once more, UV. And the texture. Now we can take this and even the alpha, and we have our fire. I can take the camera closer, a little bit closer. 
Maybe. Okay. Like it be like that and get back to our shader. Okay, so we have basic colors. It somehow looks like a flame, but very boring. So now I will make another color, a noise, animated noise. And then I will mix those two together for a nice effect. So I need, need a time and I need another texture that will be the noise texture. Here's the noise. But when I can add UV, UV here, and I will mix them together already, so we will see the effect. So I will use the color up and add those two using overlay. Okay, look like this. And let's make it emissions. And transmission. Okay, so it's bright. And it already looks better, but it's static. So we need to animate it. And for this, I need vector up. And I will need to change in this vector one thing. So let's take UV coordinates and multiply them by a small number on X and Z coordinates and then a bigger number on Y coordinates. By doing this, I zoom in into this uh, noise, so it's bigger. Maybe a little too big. Okay. And we have vector compose. And I need vector... Uh, vector decompose, I need vector compose. And now, I will take exactly those values, yes, we have this, and add the time only to the x-coordinates, so the right. Scalar operation, okay. So let's take X and add a time. As we can see, this already looks like a fire. And I can also make it a little bit slower. by multiplying this time by a half much better and one more thing zero the metallic and make groupness one okay now we can move the vertex part. This will be very similar to the fragment because it will use also the time and the noise. And 
but so at the end I will mix those movements using our gradient offset. So let's start from the beginning from the standard situations like vertex. Now I will need to compose and decompose the vertex. Okay. And I will need basically a two versions of the vertex axis. First version, this one, is basically this static plane. And the second one will have same values, but X and Z will be moved. So I will need my texture. And I will need a time. Okay. And scalar operation. Okay. To the Y coordinates, let's add time. Or add time to the Y coordinate and use this with vector compose. Okay, I will use original X here and Y is with added time, and this makes a UV that is moving. And now I need a vector pose. Okay. Now I have this movement, this noise, but it's only values from zero to one. And I need to add those values is offset to the original position so for the x and I will add this noise to x let's make it x okay now the same let's take z value and add our z value here and of course y not change it now we have full movement two things first of all the noise generates values from zero to one so it only moves in one side or no or stay still we need to have it changes from minus 0.5 to 0.5. So the easiest way to do this is to use vector operator subdivide and just do exactly what I say. Subdivide 0.5.5.5. Perfect. And now the mixing part. As we have the original vectors and our excited vectors, now we need texture. This texture with the fire offset using UV coordinates. UV, okay. Now, and there's something like vector intercept. This is the mix. 
and it works like that. Using this gradient, mix the A with B. Now the bottom is moving no and then very slowly and our middle part is moving fastest and the top is a little bit have a little bit more and now our fire done we can look at it from different perspectives okay Now we can tweak. So let's make this taller. Okay. And I will duplicate this and make more fire. Looks quite good for me. And make a little bit animations. Okay. And we have a simple fire made in visual editor for shaders. Thank you for watching.